About six months into our marriage, I pulled up our computer one day and all of this pornography starts popping up, which the pornography didn't surprise me. He already told me he looked at pornography, but it was all men. There were no women in sight. And I was like, okay, this, this could be something. Most straight men don't look at gay pornography. There's some that do, but I was like, my husband's probably gay. I approached Steve at this point and I'm like, hey, are you gay? Um, I found all this pornography and he just felt horrible. He's like, I'm so sorry. All of these things. And I'm like, it's okay, but are you gay? And he's like, no, no, I'm not gay. And he now tells me he's like the first, that was the first time I ever let myself think the words, I am gay. My husband has come out as gay and after 20 some odd years of marriage mm. wow and that must be a big yeah. shock yeah i'm just trying to adjust because i don't really know how to start life again many women have been left heartbroken in marriages and relationships because they were being deceived by gay men i believe everyone should be allowed to express their sexual orientation and i respect people's um, sexuality however it is deceptive for a man that does not identify with a woman's sexual orientation going ahead to be with that woman without even letting her know his real sexual orientation women that find themselves in this position it's draining for them it's torture for them because the relationship is never a smooth sail I told my mom you know i'm gay right literally that's what i said you know i'm gay right she's like you're not gay you dated girls in high school and middle school i'm like oh just to clarify i am gay and i have a girlfriend i'm joined here by my girlfriend samantha win greenstone and we're here to break it down for you about our relationship a little bit since some of you are so confused uh, I have been openly gay for a number of years, and before Samantha even got into a relationship with me, she knew I'm gay. Uh, but there's a soul connection we have that is unlike anything else, and we truly believe we are soulmates, and it has made it possible for us to be in a relationship for over six and a half years. We're best friends. We enjoy each other more than I think a lot of conventional couples seem to enjoy one another. And we, to clarify, we're not in an open relationship. We are this completely closed. closed. And it is possible for someone who is queer to be in a closed, uh, intimate relationship with somebody of, you know, opposite of their preference, just based solely on the soul connection. Yeah, and with love and true love, you should find the person that is your soulmate. We should all be shooting for that soulmate, true companion in life. Kendra G, I've been dating my man for over two years. Over the weekend, one of his college friends had a birthday party. Before we went, he told me that his ex would be there. He wanted to let me know so I wouldn't be uncomfortable. I was cool with everything until he told me his ex was a man. He never told me before that he was once gay in his past. He said once he gave his life to God three years ago, he stopped dating men. He also told me I'm the first girl he's ever dated, but he was too afraid to tell me back then. Kendra G, this news has changed so much for me. I love him. I never had any thoughts that he was once gay, but now I don't know what to do. Mm. You got a lifetime past the penis part. <laughs> Leon Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You gotta tweak it. He going back. He's not going back. He Tomorrow. said Tomorrow. He... <laughs> it is a difficult situation and a struggle to be in a relationship with a partner like that. As a woman, have you ever felt like your husband might be gay? Has that thought ever crossed your mind? And if the answer is yes, what exactly made you feel that way? Please share with us in the comment section. Hello fam, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Discovering that a husband is gay can be a painful and confusing experience for women. However, understanding the signs and knowing how this discovery can happen can help women navigate the emotional experience better. When you get married to a woman, even though you know that you're gay, you're all, you're like destined to do some pretty stupid and harmful things not only to her but to you and to all the people involved let me tell you about one of those things i got married 
and I had been talking to a guy for about six months before I got married. Completely didn't think that it was like gonna amount to anything, wasn't trying for it to, but accidentally fell in love with him because I had never dated a man before, because why would I? I have raised super conservative and like would have never allowed myself to do that. But it was in my last semester of college and I felt like times were getting pl pretty bleak. And I was about to get married, so why not talk to this random stranger who I met on Chat Roulette, right? What could go wrong? Anyway, fast forward six months, I get married to my wife. She, uh, you know, we're, we're happy. I'm not happy, but, you know, we're pretending to be happy. She's happy, I think. And three weeks go by, three weeks, and I'm taking a biochemistry course while I'm working on applying to medical school. And while I'm in that class, I get 11 phone calls from her, 11 missed calls. So I think to myself, that's not good. Uh, and I immediately knew it was wrong. I, she didn't say anything. She didn't leave any voicemails. She didn't text me, nothing. She was 11 missed phone calls. And she had my location, so she knew where I was. And um, I, I, I knew what she wanted because I was like, she somehow found out I was still talking to this guy that I met on Chat Roulette, which I was. I was absolutely still talking to him. Oh, and by the way, I definitely wasn't telling him that I got married. Lots of mistakes, lots of dishonesty. And I'm prepared, so give me all the judgment. I know everybody's going to fill the comments and tell me how horrible that was. But that's why I'm talking about this. Uh, because I don't think it's right, and I don't think it was good. And I'm trying to help people who might think that they can do the same thing uh, realize that they can't. So she calls me 11 times. I leave class that day, and I, I'm going to call her back. I walk outside the building, and she is right there without shoes on, looking like she just saw a ghost or just watched her parents be murdered in front of her. She is horrified, and rightly so. So I knew exactly what the problem was. She obviously found out somehow, and she sat me down, and we wound up having a three-hour conversation about how she saw my open computer where I was Skyping this guy and she saw our chat history and everything three weeks into our marriage that's how she found out i was gay which is very embarrassing but that's how she found out horrible so let's talk about it so married men and boyfriends are in the closet and this makes it so hard for women to tell if their men are straight or actually gay in this video we will discuss some signs for you to look out for that might help you tell if your man is gay or not. Signs a guy is gay. You might be wondering, why can't I just ask a guy if he's gay? Well, if you say to someone who's in the closet, hi, are you gay? It's too direct. You might push them even further into the closet and they might not even feel comfortable or want to be around you. A subtle sign is if you are comfortable enough with him to say, would you ever have a same sex experience? I think I would, even if you wouldn't just say it. And that way, if they are gay, they'll literally just tell you then and there like, didn't you know I was gay? If they understand gay references and gay terms, RuPaul, Lady Gaga, Twink, Bottom, Top. Don't ask me why, but in public toilets, if they use cubicles to wee instead of urinals. If their eye pupils dilate in front of attractive guys, this means they're attracted to them. If they're following lots of gay pages, gay icons, this is a huge sign. So here are behavioral changes. Let's talk about emotional withdrawal. So men will start withdrawing from their wife. They will start avoiding physical contact, intimacy. They will start living as though the wife is now their roommate. They will keep their problems to themselves. They keep their emotional issues to themselves. They'll rather go out there and share it with their partners out there. I mean, their gay partners than share it with your wife so having your man withdraw from you emotionally can also be a sign that something might be fishy that does not necessarily mean that the man might be gay but it could mean that something is really fishy and it's a sign for you to carry out an investigation another point is changing sexual behavior how does he behave when you guys are really intimate when you guys are having sex does he act like he's not interested he's not comfortable let's just get it done with and move on what kind of attitude does he exhibit let me just say this having your man exhibit all this attitude does not necessarily mean that oh we, we, we caught him he's gay no that's not it i'm just saying that this could be this could be 
so it it's a reason for you to go there go out there and carry out a thorough research but don't just run with the points and making out here and say okay after taking your boxes this is it. this man is gay that's not exactly what i'm saying i'm just saying this could be this could be indicative if you get what i mean another point could be him spending time away more time away without a wife by himself it could be him going for a solo trip traveling by himself eating out by himself going movies by, by himself hanging out by himself the reason why i'm saying hanging out by himself is this to the wife the wife might be thinking oh my husband is doing all these things himself but she might not know that the husband is out there doing all these things with his gay partner the husband might have told the wife honey i'm going out on this trip by myself i want to have a solo travel but he is traveling with his with his gay partner without the wife knowing so does he do things by himself does he travel by himself does he enjoy going out there all by himself without carrying you along these are signs he might be gay according to my gay best friends ally apparently so much of an ally because one of my exes turned out to be gay let's get into it number one first thing you're not gonna do is stereotype them on their looks the way that they sound or their interests there are many types of different gays in the world which is why it might be difficult to identify so if your gaydar isn't immediately pinging off here's what you're gonna do go to their instagram and look at who they're following. Now, even if they're closeted, I don't think they would expect you to stalk their following list. So here we go. If he happens to be following a few guys that do OnlyFans, gay influencers or celebs, or LGBTQ plus quote pages, it's probably a dead giveaway that he is gay. Or the world's biggest ally. If that still hasn't answered your question, then try doing number two. Just drop gay tidbits and references mid-conversation. This can be anything along the lines of Lady Gaga, RuPaul, Twink Face, Bear Face, Futch, Beard, you name it. Just casually drop them in conversation like you're talking to someone else that is already out. Because if he is gay, even if he hasn't come out yet, he's going to know what they mean. Just watch how he reacts and responds to them and it will be a dead giveaway. Number three, when you're getting to know them, if you feel like you get to a point where you're hitting a wall, or they're extremely private about certain parts of their life, it could well be that there's this whole other part of them that they're hiding and not talking about. But if they do ever open up to you about their dating life, they might just refer to them as they or them. Like, yeah, I've been talking to this person and I really like them, just to avoid disclosing their gender. Let me know. How to tell if a guy is secretly gay? Disclaimer, do not out anyone because everyone should be able to come out in their own time. First sign is that he's obsessed with other people's sexualities and he's always gossiping about them, talking about them, asking questions, almost like he's trying to ask things just for himself. If you never see him check out girls, but you see him staring at guys a lot, glancing at them and always looking them up and down, that's a sign that he's checking out guys. Check his social media following. If he's following a load of gay icons more than usual, that's a big sign as well. This one is stereotypical, but if he doesn't have any guy friends and his friends are purely just girls if you think he's attracted to you and you're the same gender see if his pupils dilate when you're having a conversation that's a big sign finding evidence is another way some women discover their husband's sexual orientation i've heard some women talk about how they found out their husbands were gay through the evidence they found some women saw the emails of their husband and they noticed that some men were sending them sexual emails some of them saw the text messages of their husband those messages came from men and those messages were too sexual some women spoke about checking his browse history the website he visited what kind of website did he visit was it gay pornography website the um, apps he used the people he's following on social media his contact list on social media is he following gay celebrities does he have a lot of gay people in his social media just check around does he have a secret app they have some secret apps you can hide your apps they have some gay apps that are being camouflaged if you don't know you don't know does he have apps like that are you aware of the gay community app so you need to be aware of the apps for you to be able to identify the kind of apps that your husband has on his phone what the apps stand for what kind of um celebrities is he following what is his contact list on social media who is he following who are his friends on social media get ready with me while i tell you the signs to know if your man is dl or gay uh, the first red flag is if your man is more into booty than your cooter 
That's a red flag. Girl. Second red flag is if you go through his phone and you see on his Instagram that he likes more boy pictures than girl pictures, girl, that's a red flag. Our ex or whatever that boy uses, you better go do a deep dive on that phone. Okay, girl? Period. If that man's always hanging out with his homeboys and he leaves you for his homeboys, then there's an issue because he shouldn't be leaving you for nobody. That man make you pay the bill, he gay. Fan constantly feels the need to call something gay or feels really uncomfortable around gay people. Baby, that's because his booty is gay. And if your man got this shit in his phone, he got any of these apps in his phone, girl, you better run. Oh. The gays and the DLs got sneaky now. Okay, let me tell y'all girls, now they can hide the app. So if you see any of these icons on his phone, baby, that is a dating app. Okay, so y'all better run for the hills. Wow. I hope I caught up some DL men. Dante Onika the burger ate up another one. Another point is his social circle. Who are his friends? What do they do? What do they look like? How do they dress? Is he interested in the LGBT community in their event? Does he participate in their event? Has he got close friends that are gay? Is he supportive of the of the gay community? I'm saying all these things because a lot of straight men are kind of anti things like that, which is me. Yeah, I have an open mind to that, but some straight men can be so ex extreme when it comes to the LGBT community. If you get what I mean. So having the man that is open to that, that does not mean that the man is gay. Some men are liberal; they're open to that. Don't mind the, the way I said I have an an open mind. I don't discriminate i accept everybody some people are also like that regardless of gender so having a man that is open to gay community you, you shouldn't just run with it and say oh my god he's gay no don't say that don't say that some men also love to dress in a certain way that doesn't really mean they're gay but it's good for you to have your ears on the ground and be very observant as well so what does he like doing what does his friends like doing how do they dress where do they go to you also have to check that does your man prioritize spending time with his male friends and he loves spending time with you as his wife or girlfriend i'm not really going to say that having your man spend more time with his friends means that he's gay a lot of guys these days prefer hanging out with their friends than hanging out with their wives or um their girlfriends we've spoken about this before how men prefer their friends and they will choose their friends over and over again over their wives and girlfriends so that could be a sign that he's gay that could also be a sign that he's not gay maybe he's just part of those people that value his male friendship more than the women he has in his life there are different ways women have found that in the past if their husbands are gay or not some found that after divorce some found that through rumor gossip in town oh this man is this some found out through the man coming out by himself and confessing i'm not in support of people forcefully making people to confess let them come out whenever they want to come out but what i'm against is someone being gay and being with a woman that is straight without letting the woman know his actual sexual orientation that is deceptive to me i'm totally against that it's not all about finding a man getting married to the man dating the man are you actually with a straight person if you're a straight person are you actually with someone that is of the same sexual orientation as you are because it's very important because if you don't get the sexual orientation right in the first place it's going to be a struggle in that relationship intimacy is going to go down the hill you will suffer you have emotional drainage a lot of things you have emotional issues your man is just not going to be there for you because his mind spirit and body is not in that relationship he's just there as a camouflage so that people will not catch him he just doesn't want to come out of the closet so don't let someone else use you a lot of men out there are doing this especially in my country no jokes lagos abuja another part of nigeria a lot of men are in the closet they are married but they are gay and their wives don't know thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe click this video here to know what a man will do if he cannot manipulate you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye